G'day everybody, MPA here, and today we are diving into how to maximize your audio and sound like a pro using Waves plugins and our Chainer Wave Studio Rack inside of OBS Studio because it now works in OBS Studio for Windows, which is super exciting to me. In a little bit, I'm going to show you how to get rid of noise on your microphone or your guest microphone or your Zoom call. I'm going to show you how to make a cheap microphone sound really good. For example, a phone microphone. I'm going to show you how to use compression and dynamics to bring up the levels on your mics and your guests and your music to make everything sound really polished. And I'm going to guide you through some of the other bits and pieces inside OBS that are important for your live stream. So before we go through that, the OBS stuff is gonna come first and I'm gonna give you a bit of a tease now on one of those. So now I'm talking, I'm talking. There's a game behind me. What am I gonna do with this? So I'm just gonna keep on talking. I'm gonna talk, maybe that's a bit too much. There are two things that I wanna talk about and uh, one of them is your sample rate and the other one is audio checks before you actually go live. Let's talk about the sample rate first. Sample rate might not sound important, but it is, but you only have to really check it and set it once, uh, and then OBS will pretty much remember it forever. So go into your settings and go down into audio, and then make sure at the top that it says 48K. That's all you need to do is go in, make sure it says 48K, and if you are obviously streaming in stereo, make sure that in that box it's a stereo too. 48K is pretty much the industry standard and has been for a very long time. So YouTube, Twitch, Wowzer, Vimeo, all those 48K, that's where you want to be. The second one is levels. Now, obviously, I only have one microphone here right now. Uh, and if you look below me about there, you'll see the level for it. Now, generally speaking, even if you're not an audio pro, I have one rule for you. Stay between about minus 18 and about minus 10. Try and stay in that realm. So, and the reason that you want to do that is because you want to make sure, let me just go back to my microphone input and let's just bring it up just a bit. You want to make sure that you have enough room for somebody to get loud or gafori or laughy. Gafori is a British word, I think. So loud, laugh, et cetera, um, outside of their normal level. Um, and you want to be able to have the level to deal with it without distorting. So you want to be able to check those things. Also make sure that once you've got all of your guests in, you do another sound check with everybody in because things get louder when there's multiple people. Okay, so now that we've dealt with all of that higgity-jiggity stuff, I want to talk quickly about how do you access plugins inside of OBS. Super simple. There are three places that you can do this. First one is you click on a audio source of any kind, and then you click filters from here. So you click filters, and then it'll bring up the filters box where you add plugins. The second one is you right-click uh, on the audio source and you click filters, brings up the same box. And the third place is you go over here in the audio mixer, click the three dots and you click filters and there it is. Now the next thing you do is you click the plus sign and you can use the built-in ones, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about Waves Studio Rack and all Waves plugins being available inside of OBS Studio, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna add VST2 plus plugin and then I'm gonna call it for this exercise Studio Rack, and I'm gonna hit OK. Now I'm going to go select plugin, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna select Studio Rack for OBS, and I'm going to go open plugin interface. Before I move on, if you don't yet have Studio Rack, and really you should, but if you don't, you can install it for free from Waves Central. And if you don't have Waves Central, go to waves.com, log into your Waves account, download the latest version of Waves Central, then go and find Studio Rack, and the world will be opened up to you. Now, let's go and deal with some noise. Noise comes in from multiple places. It comes in uh, in some consistent forms like um, distant traffic, air conditioners, and stuff like that, room noise. Then it comes in inconsistent forms like 
human beings, uh, pets, etc. Hey, Max. Um, and we need to deal with all of this in live stream situations, and we need to deal with it on the fly. So we need to deal with it fast. I have a tool for you, and it's called Clarity VX. Here we go. So I am now in the car, my car. Why? Well, let me show you. Just started the engine. Bit of noise for us. Because a lot of the time, when we're bringing people into OBS as guests, it's not always the perfect scenario. There's going to be background noise. There's going to be engine noise. There's going to be noise, and we're going to have to get rid of it. You know what? Let's turn the radio on. So now I'm talking, I'm talking. There's a game behind me. What am I going to do with this? So I'm just going to keep on talking. I'm going to talk. Maybe that's a bit too much. I could probably turn it down a bit. In that scenario, I could probably say to the guest, look, don't be a moron, turn it down. But there is going to be a certain amount of noise that we're going to have to, at some point in time, get rid of because it's just part of the deal. Now, in OBS, there are some tools to help, but we at Waves, as part of our plugin suite and as part of our tool set, we can do this really, really well. And me, outside of the car, I'm hopefully going to be doing this at some point right now so that I can stop holding this phone and I can stop the engine and maybe just, you know, oh, God, sound of silence, right? Right? Right. All of that was done pretty much with that central knob. And that's the crazy thing about Clarity VX to me is it does so much of that work for you and it's fast. It's really fast. And the way it deals with those random noises from radio and things like that is pretty crazy. So let's now move on. Uh, what are we going to deal with next? Cheap microphones, bad microphones, these microphones. Let's deal with that. I want to set the scene for you. So you've brought in a guest. Uh, you've planned it. You've scheduled it. Everything is good. The guest is no longer where he was scheduled to be, and he's now at home sitting on his balcony next to his papa. Hey, Max. And therefore, the scenario is not as good as it was supposed to be. This is now a phone microphone. So what are you going to do? So what are you going to do? Well, there's a couple of tools that I use on a daily basis. And I literally mean a daily basis to fix this exact problem. And I use Studio Rack for it. So let me show you. The other guy, me, in the studio is currently fixing this. Around now, he should be showing you what you could do to get rid of the noise with Clarity VX. Again, like we did before, but a bit less extreme. The next thing he's going to show you after we've got rid of that is how to bring in and control the dynamics of this little teeny microphone in this uh, in this phone. And then after that, he's going to give me a bit more body and make me sound a bit more like Barry Whitish, I think. So in the meantime, I'm just going to keep on talking for a second. Uh, as I said, this is Max. Uh, Max is a Boston Terrier. Uh, he's had a bit of a hard time recently since moving all the way from the United States. Uh, he got attacked by another dog. He wasn't too happy about that, nor was I. Um, I think by now, though, uh, you know, I think we're, we're on the right track. Uh, this interview is nearly done, and Max and I are ready to go back to the studio. MPA, you ready? So uh, that's how you deal with cheap microphones. Those are the tools that I use every day. There's not a day that goes by or a live event that goes by that I don't rely on tools like that. And I don't use them as fast as I am in OBS right now and showing you. So every time you've seen a Waves live event, those plugins are going to be on the audio sources that are on the guests coming in to my studio. So feel free to mess around with them. Feel free to leave comments, uh, ask questions. If you want to know or see a specific setup or challenge me with audio, then feel free. Throw it down there. I'm, I'm up for this. Uh, but before then, we got to keep going. This video is going to get longer otherwise. So how about we go to, um, what's next? Compression, dynamics, compressors. Let's talk about that. 
So I talked earlier on about uh, compressors and I talked about Arvox. I showed you Arvox as part of my chain in Studio Rack on a cheap microphone. In my case, it was a telephone microphone. The Arvox, though, is an amazing tool for pretty much any compression job on any microphone. So I'm going to use it on my own. So I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to make sure that I bring up here and let's open. Now, one of the beautiful things about Studio Rack is I can just type in a word. So let's type in Vox, bring up our Vox. There is no other filter on my voice right now. So my microphone's right in front of me. So I'm just going to start dragging this fader for compression down and you'll start to hear a change in my voice. And you'll also start to see that there's under GR, that stands for gain reduction. Uh, you'll also hear that I've got louder. Now, one of the other things that may have got louder is any room noise behind me. And that's why you've got this wonderful little slider here, fader here for a gate. So if I want to, I can activate the gate uh, and I can remove that so that when I'm not talking, it pretty much gates me, which is pretty much what I want. If you're in a scenario where you can't get rid of all noise, then having a gate is the next best thing. Now, if you don't want to plug in in Studio Rack, one of the beautiful things about it is I can literally drag it and I can just drop it in the middle of nowhere and it disappears. The next plugin I want to show you is another version of a compressor. Again, it's ridiculously simple. Um, and uh, for Twitch streamers, I think this one's going to be a fun one. So I'm going to go to a plugin called Greg Wells Voice Centric, and you'll see that it's here under Delay, Effect, Dynamics, and Modulation. Why? Because it's all of them. Uh, so let's bring that up. Yeah, baby, here we go. So let's turn those off for a second. Now, there's a couple of things about this that make it super easy to use. The green light gives you an ability to sell when you've got enough signal going into the plugin. So if it's on green, you don't have enough signal. If it's kind of peaking between yellow and orange, you have enough signal. Now there's too much. Okay, so let's go back to about there. Now I have enough signal. Now, as I move this knob up, the sound of my voice and the sound of the processing is going to change and different things are going to come into play. So there are, there are multiple things going on here and it's kind of a cool plugin because it just sounds so different. Now, if I want to, let's now add uh, a reverb again. So let's add that in, add a bit of reverb, not too much. Now I sound like I'm on a radio station in Los Angeles. Uh, let's turn that off. Now let's turn on the doubler. Now I'm an announcer. Uh, and now let's turn on the delay and give myself a bit of delay. Maybe that's too much. This is a really fun plugin, but if you just turn these off, you have a very, very powerful dynamics processor that does a really, really good job of, of what, it's, what you're asking it to do. And it's super fast. So what I've showed you so far is four ways to maximize your audio and sound like a pro with Waves plugins using OBS Studio. But what I haven't quite touched on yet is how ridiculously simple it can be, even more simple than this, by using presets from within Studioverse inside Studio Rack. Let me show you quickly before we stop. Studioverse is a collective of thousands upon thousands of plugin chains, and they are searchable. And one of the things that I've started doing for you, because, you know, I love you and stuff, is I've started creating specific presets for content creators to work inside OBS to save you time. So you can search OBS, OBS Studio, there you go. So there you go, here's just a few of them. Podcast Mix Polish, yep, I've got you there. Kitchen Mic Cleanup, uh, that's if you've got somebody who's on a built-in computer microphone in a kitchen with tiled floor. I can fix you there. Uh, a Lav Mic Cleanup, yep, I can fix you there too. 
So there you have it. Those are the ways that we can help you maximize your audio for your live stream or recording inside OBS and without. And don't forget, these plugins all work in the other platforms that you use as well. It's like when I'm doing videos, I'm using DaVinci Resolve, I'm using Pro Tools sometimes, I'm using Adobe Premiere, I'm using Final Cut Pro, uh, I'm using Studio One. It's like all of those places, Waves plugins work. And I can move my presets from Studio Rack around all of those places so that my creative flow stays complete. This has been fun. If you want to know more or if you've got some ideas for presets that you want, stick them in the comments. Much love. MPA out.